This video tutorial covers part one and chapter one of the Getting to Know ESRI Business Analyst book. This material covers trade area analysis and site reporting and it uses ESRI's Business Analyst online system. This presentation will include the following topics. Uh, we'll talk about the living scenario for the living in the green lane enterprise. Uh, we will look at the relevant business GIS tools and tasks that we'll be doing and then look at the specific things that you will be doing in the business analyst online environment. We'll then look at the, at the learning goals and skills that you've picked up in, the, in this material as well as the return on investment for business analyst tools in this particular scenario. The living in the green line scenario begins with a company that has just started the process of startup. It's defined its core marketing concept and they're going to become a green home center uh, they know the characteristics of green consumers in general and they would like to use those characteristics to pick a site for their first store. In this chapter, Janice and Stephen have approached the Twin Cities Redevelopment Task Force for help in identifying sites uh, and that task force, which is a, an economic development group in the Minnesota uh, area, uh, has used Business Analyst Online to help its clients do just that. So what we're going to be doing uh, in this process with Business GIS is defining the study area for the research project that we'll be doing. We're using thematic or color-coded maps to look at the business environment, the demographic characteristics of the population of this market area. We will identify and map sites for, the, for that first location, then look at a couple of ways of creating trade areas around those sites and develop research reports uh, that, that detail the characteristics of those trade areas. We will then use those to try and assess the attractiveness uh, of the sites to living in the green lane. So in this chapter, these are the specific things that we'll be doing with Business Analyst Online. We'll create a study area for the research project. We will evaluate that study area with a, with a series of thematic or color-coded maps using several data attributes that are relevant to uh, the green consumer profile or lifestyle. We will look at some specific sites on the map, one of which is uh, a site that's available through the Redevelopment Task Force, another potential site that you will locate on your own. We'll look at two different methods for determining trade areas around sites, simple ring and drive time, and then we'll use those trade areas to create standard and customized business analyst online reports to understand the trade areas more fully. The thematic map or color-coded map application is illustrated here. Note that we have already defined the study area and we're looking at median household income at the county level in the central Minnesota area. Uh, as we drill down and move in closer to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, we are now looking at the uh, distribution of median value of, of housing uh, by census tract within the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, which illustrates how we can, can zoom in more closely to get finer granularity and detail in the data that we're using uh, in the thematic mapping process. As we start to develop the, the, the skills in, in um, site selection and um, site mapping, we, we begin with a site that's made available through the Redevelopment Task Force. We have an address for that site. You input it here and it shows you where that address is located in uh, Minneapolis. Uh, and then you select uh, a, drive, uh, a, a simple ring around that site uh, and it illustrates it on a map. Uh, to get an alternative view, you can use a drive time trade area definition, which produces a distinctively different looking uh, trade area for the site. Uh, then we will identify somewhere else in the area another site that might be of interest to living in the green lane. Uh, and notice that in this slide you have developed uh, drive time uh, trade areas uh, of similar distance, uh, that is of similar drive times, uh, around each of the two stores. One to three minute within the green ring, uh, three to five minute within the outer darker ring. Once those trade areas are in place, you can compare them and their characteristics using a variety of tools uh, with business analyst reports. The first one is the comparison report in which you can determine specifically the customized set of attributes that you want to use uh, to compare the two sites uh, and do so graphically and in terms of tables as well. Uh, this one happens to illustrate housing characteristics to show different patterns of home ownership uh, between the two sites that we've seen, but there are a variety of other options that are available to you uh, as you move through the comparison reports process. You can also select from uh, pre-formatted report templates 
that are available in the Business Analyst online interface. This illustrates some of those. Uh, you will select reports that are of interest to you uh, and to the Living in the Greenland scenario when you conduct your analysis with Business Analyst online. And once you order the reports, they will be delivered to your computer screen and to your email address uh, with uh, in this type of format. Uh, so we, here we have for the uh, redevelopment task force site uh, some information on the three and five minute drive times. This is the very start of the report that goes on quite a bit longer, but it gives you some idea of the type of information that is available. So what you see in this application is the use of Business Anal Analyst Online as an initial screening tool. It's helped us identify some of the characteristics of the market area that we want to study, uh, specifically locate two alternative sites within it, and learn about the characteristics of those sites with reports. Uh, this slide gives you an overview of the ROI considerations for that operation, the return on investment of this business GIS uh, analysis. Uh, and on the cost side, the cost of a business online premium subscription and the time of managers and the business GIS analyst in preparing the reports and conducting the analysis. Uh, the benefits include uh, our better understanding of the business environment and better estimate of site sales potential. And to give you an idea of the magnitude of that, for the two sites, the example sites that we just looked at in this presentation, based on the total amount of spending on home improvement related uh, purchases uh, in 2009, uh, here are the differences between selecting the better of the two sites and the worse of these two, uh, two sites. Um, on a per share point basis, that is, if we were to go, if living in the green lane were to earn a share of 5% um, of share of the market in each of the two sites, then for each of those share points, each of those 5%, there would be a difference in revenue of $670,000. Uh, so over $3 million difference in revenue at a 5% share of market. If living in the green lane's market share is higher in the more attractive site than it is in the lesser attractive site, then there is additional incremental revenue of $950,000 for each additional share point. So for example, if living in the Green Lane's share in the more attractive market area were 7% as opposed to 5%, the first 5% would produce incremental revenue of $670,000 per share point, but the additional two additional share points between 5 and 7% would be worth $950,000 each. So another uh, $1,900,000 for the difference between a 5% and a 7% market share. Uh, these numbers are very substantial compared to the relatively modest cost of performing this analysis. So as you go through this part of the, of the text and through this chapter, these are the things that you will learn how to do. You'll use Business Analyst Online to define trade areas uh, in which you're going to focus your study, uh, create color-coded or thematic maps to present and display the uh, demographic and, and, and socioeconomic characteristics of population living in that area. Uh, you'll learn how to, to select sites for stores uh, using uh, address geocoding and pinpointing those sites on a map. Uh, you'll find different areas of creating trade areas, different ways of creating trade areas around the store, uh, and you will compare trade areas with the report function that's available in Business Analyst Online. So this completes this video lesson and its summary of the skills that you'll acquire and the value of those skills in site selection and analysis using uh, Business Analyst Online.